One of the main limiting factors to how many features we can pack in our smartphones and more recently electric cars is the battery. So with that said, here's a list of the top upcoming battery tech that could make its way to products in the near future. Smartphones and electric cars all use lithium ion batteries, but lithium sulfur batteries may be a better option. Researchers testing out lithium sulfur batteries have found that they can offer up to twice the energy density of the current lithium ion batteries that we're using now. So without taking up any more space in your device, you just get way more battery life. In fact, researchers testing out this battery tech in a sample smartphone found that they could get up to five days of battery life using just one of these lithium sulfur batteries. That's pretty cool and I think it would be very welcome to have that amount of battery life and power in a smartphone. But currently researchers have found that the longevity of these batteries don't currently match up to what we're getting out of our current battery tech. So the jury is still out on lithium sulfur if it will ever replace what we're using now. Price for the weirdest sounding type of battery tech is the seawater battery. So IBM are a huge company and they spend billions of dollars on research and development of a lot of cool stuff. And researchers at IBM think they found a way to make a battery with, yes, seawater. Well, not quite seawater, but a saline water, a extremely salty solution of water. This type of battery, according to IBM, has a much higher power density than the current lithium ion technology. And according to them, it's safer and less flammable than the current technologies, which is always a good thing. Even though companies like Samsung might be interested in this tech. It looks like this type of battery is more suitable for larger devices like electric vehicles. In fact, IBM have been working with BMW together to develop this technology and it looks like there's some good results so far. Even weirder than a seawater battery, how about a sand battery? Well, not exactly sand, but its building block of silicon could replace the graphite found in current lithium ion batteries. And according to researchers with this technology, it could give us up to three times the power density that we currently get. The benefit of this technology is that silicon is one of the most abundant materials that we can find on Earth. But there are still lots of issues with this type of battery. For example, researchers just can't manufacture it in any large quantities, which means the price is still very high. But in the future, they think they can easily manufacture this, bring the prices down, and offer a 20 to 40% boost in battery performance. Probably the most popular and well-known type of new battery tech is graphene battery tech. This one is mentioned all the time, especially when it comes to smartphone batteries. Actually, there are graphene batteries out and available to buy right now. But like most other new technologies, they are very expensive. They're okay for a standalone product with a high price, but as a technology, it's just not mature enough to put into the millions of smartphones manufactured every year. Graphene has been hailed as a super material and it is certainly really cool, but for right now, it is incredibly expensive. You can get super quick charging times with graphene batteries because you can charge them at the same rate throughout the whole charge cycle. Even with current smartphones and lithium ion batteries with fast charging, they usually charge very quickly on the first portion of the charge, for example, from 0 to 50% or even from 0 to 80%, but that last 20% of the battery charges relatively slowly. However, with graphene batteries, you don't have that problem. You can charge it at a high rate throughout the whole 0 to 100% cycle. So longer battery life, a safer battery, and a faster charging battery. That's why graphene batteries are so often linked with smartphones. Solid state batteries are also a really exciting battery tech. It's called a solid state battery because the electrolytes in the battery are solid and not made of a gel material, which is what we currently get in the lithium ion batteries that we use today. And just like all the other technologies in this list, it supposedly offers a higher energy density, a longer battery life cycle, but is also incredibly expensive. A big enough solid state battery to power a smartphone would literally cost tens of thousands of dollars. So there is no way these batteries are making it into smartphones anytime soon. So how long is it until we see one or more of these battery technologies actually replace the current lithium ion tech that we're using in smartphones and electric vehicles today? Well, it's easier, faster, more efficient, and more cost effective to develop the existing technology that you have than to implement new ones. And with current smartphone fast charging technologies pushing up 
to about 100 watts, with those batteries only degrading up to 20% over their life cycle. This gives consumers of smartphones at least really no issues when it comes to the battery. So we'll probably be looking at lithium ion batteries in our smartphones for a very long time to come. Subscribe for all the latest tech news and videos. That's it for now, but I'll see you in the next one.